maybe it's time to rewrite the history. September 2023, in the Mexican Congress Jamie Mawson presented dead bodies of two 1,000-year-old ancient aliens. But is this a real alien or it's just another hoax? In this video we are going to deep dive into this and try to understand these claims and the proofs presented in the Congress. If you are also curious to know more about this then hit that subscribe button and dive with me into this video. For those who think that aliens have come to Earth, something incredible occurred in Mexico City. In a public meeting of Mexico's Congress, which was shown live online, they showed dead bodies of two alien mummies. The corpses were recovered from a mine in Peru's Cusco City, and they had a genetic composition 30% different from that of human beings. Jamie Mawson, who has been studying aliens for many years was leading this investigation. So, are these alien bodies real? Or just like in the past it's another hoax? Well, before we decide whether these alien bodies are real or fake, we need to take a look at Jamie Mawson's previous work and researches. Jamie Mawson is a Mexican journalist, television personality, and ufologist. Since 1970 he has been a reporter at various newspapers and broadcasting outlets and in June 1990, he was named on the United Nations Environment Program's annual Global 500 Roll of Honor. In 2015, Jamie Mawson promoted photographic slides claiming to be pictures of an alien recovered from the Roswell Flying Saucer crash which turned out to be pictures of a mummy in a museum exhibition. Furthermore, in June 2017, Mawson was involved in the analysis of five mummies discovered in Peru at the region where Nazca Line's site is located. The mummies were supposedly discovered in 2015 by tomb robbers working in the Nazca region and one of the mummies, known as Maria, was found by a team led by Jamie himself. The images of these findings were initially aired in a documentary sponsored by Gaia and it allegedly shows a deformed mummified body of a humanoid figure with an elongated skull and three fingers on each hand and foot. But the problem was that a number of other researchers claimed that real human mummy parts were used to create these fake alien bodies. Further a dozen Peruvian mummy researchers have put out a statement condemning the practice saying that it has violated numerous national and international norms by dehumanizing deceased human bodies. But at the same time, Jamie offered samples of them and to conduct x-rays and CT scans on them. Things took turn when in an interview a Russian expert said that he conducted DNA tests to demonstrate that the mummified remains are not human. His name was Dr. Karatkov from St. Petersburg University stated that the characteristics found in these mummies were not a deformity and that the discovery was of a different creature, another humanoid, probably an alien from outer space. Tomographic scans reveal their skeletons. The tissue has biological nature and their chemical composition indicates that they are humans. Their DNA features 23 pairs of chromosomes, just like we have. They appear human but they were not. Their anatomic structure is different. Their rib structure is different from that of humans as the bones are keel-shaped in the upper part, and the rib cage consists of semicircular ribs. Dr. Karatkov and his team claim to have undertaken genetic tests on tissue samples taken from the mummy, and the bodies date back to about the 5th century AD and could be extraterrestrials since their DNA was not human. But here there is one more issue, Dr. Karatkov has faced controversy before. In 2008, he received widespread criticism when he asserted that he had invented a camera capable of capturing images of the human soul. In essence, their credentials raised doubts and thus leading the scientific community to dismiss this as a hoax. Now coming back to this recent alien revelation. This time it's different. It has been displayed publicly that too in front of the Mexico Congress. This time scientists and researchers have full freedom to test these bodies and bring forth the real findings. Further this time these are not mummies instead these are complete bodies that have not been manipulated in any way. These bodies had been carbonated by Mexico's National Autonomous University but they refused a request from to provide access to the complete study results or to arrange interviews with the participating researchers. Furthermore, they did not disclose the age determined by their study for the samples. The thing is that we are unaware of the nature of the samples, but the only thing we can demand is the importance of transparency. Now the whole scientific community have access to these bodies. 
So, let's hope that in future we will get to know the reality behind these claims. But, let us know in the comments that what do you think about these claims. If you want to see more such videos then, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.